Yo, what's up, everybody? How's it going? We're playing Custom Hero Clash. We're playing Party Hardcore, which, in case you're not familiar, what it does is it makes it so that nobody has an edges, and if you lose a duel for minute one, you get a loser's curse. Anyway, we're playing as Axe, which I think is kind of an interesting hero. Let's get ourselves Berserker's Call. We need that for our new Agonims, right? Let's get ourselves Battle Hunger. I'm honestly, if I can just get literally Axe here, pretty happy. I mean, I can skip out on the ultimate, but everything else I'm pretty happy about. Um, this stuff, I don't think we're really looking for it. Let's reroll. I would love healer. I think healer would be the best thing for us. But we didn't get it, so that's a bit disappointing. Um, what else can we get? Blank soul, magic resistance. That's not a bad idea, not necessarily. Fast learner. I'm going to get fast learner. We level up three additional times. No, I'll get Aghanim's Blessing. What am I doing? Yeah, Aghanim's Blessing is actually... It saves a lot of money. Kind of a shame I wasted all of my rerolls like that. But it's just, if I had gotten healer, it would have been so juicy, right? It's one of those things where I think if you can go for it, you want to go for it, but oh well. So, uh, we have Aghanim's now, which is very good. Hey, Dorpatian, thank you so much for the sub, my dude. Appreciate it. So, Berserker's Call. Berserker's Call applies Battle Hunger to affected unit. Battle Hunger also reduces enemy armor by 7, grants Axe 7 armor per affected target. Reduces Berserker's Call cooldown by 2. And then also counter edix uh, causes Axe's attacks to have a chance to proc counter edix attacks. Attack procs ignore counter edix cooldown, increases attack speed by 35. So that's that's all good and good and well. Um, the big thing that we're looking for, of course, is level 25 or level 30 to be more exact. Because then we can get the Berserker's Call AoE and the additional 100 Battle Hunger DPS. But Battle Hunger in of itself is actually like a really solid ability. Like it's actually really good. So um, I'm kind of excited to see if we can maybe make something happen with that. Onyx, go get it! Ah, I don't know. I don't know who wins. I think Onyx actually wins. I think Onyx actually wins. Look at that. Healer is quite a good, quite a lot here. But this Berserker, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Onyx got it. All right, Culling Blade. I'm not feeling Culling Blade. Are we feeling Culling Blade? I kind of think Sandstorm is better. Fiery Soul, maybe. Culling Blade is one of those things where I just, I just don't really believe, you know? I just don't really believe. A torrent for Agonims. <gasps> I think that's a smart idea. Yeah, let's go. I, I feel like that's actually, that's actually a good amount of power here. And we really want to prioritize our early game. Now, uh, really quick, I want to really quickly talk about a thing. So... Four chroma, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Uh, four chroma. I, um, what was I saying? Um, oh yes. So I recently talked about, like on Saturday, I believe, I talked about how we are adding a tutorial. Like the tutorial has been in um, since Sunday morning at 4 a.m. So on the day I talked about it, we finished it. Although on the day at this point is a bit. By the way, in case you're wondering why I'm looking down here, it's because there's a Noah. Ah, see, there's a, there's a cat, but he seems a bit undecided whether or not he wants to come on the desk. So I'm just gonna put him here. <laughs> he's a little, he's a little undecided as to what he wants to do with his life. But yes, there's a full proper gameplay tutorial now, right? So if that was something that you maybe struggled with, you can feel free, you know, if you want to give the game another go. Okay, also does Battle Hunger. I don't know if I should max this up. I, I, I don't know. I feel like Battle Hunger is just kind of nice, right? But I guess one of the benefits of Battle Hunger is having the lower cooldown. <gasps> oh, I don't feel good about that. That one spooks me. That one freaks me the hell out. All right, we're gonna need to. We're gonna, gonna need to like have a strategy prepared for this. This is my strategy. This is what I have prepared. 
All right, boots of travel, but we have this, and this is a slow. Not only is it a slow, but it also also increases our movement speed. Oh wait, you can walk back here again. And all right, very good, very good. Oh, wait, why are these not hitting? Okay, so that's that was a bit of a scam. These things just kind of like went all over the place. Oh, no. Oh, no, we are not making it. No! God! Ah! Oh. So close. Well, it wasn't really that close. <laughs> I really wanted it to be close, but it was not that close. <laughs> All right, then. Okay, Akimo versus Monkey D. Luffy. Very good. Oh, yeah, Noah's in the basket now. <laughs> <laughs> he was really undecided. He's a very funny cat. Something about cats in general that's always sort of important to keep in mind with them is that they don't do well with change. And you need to be really careful when introducing anything new to them. Right? So the reason why Noah was so hesitant when coming onto my desk, which he usually doesn't mind it. He jumps up here all the time and hangs out with me. He does that, like, honestly, like, every day, multiple hours, no big deal. Um, but the reason why he was so hesitant is because he just did it a second ago and when he jumped up where his basket is usually There was a blanket Why was there a blanket because earlier I put a blanket there so Coco could lie on it because she really likes the blanket and she did She was happy with it right and I left the blanket there so she could come back if she wanted to uh, But now Noah wanted to go into the basket, but he couldn't so there was a blank because there was a blanket so he left and Now afterwards he didn't know what to expect anymore, right? That's why he was so hesitant it's just like a thing about cats. They just, they really do not do well with change. And um, so like what I, I have found works really well is that you need to kind of like slowly introduce them to whatever change you're, you're, you're doing. So what worked with Coco is I like kind of showed her putting the blanket. I showed her that I put the blanket on top of the basket and then she knew, oh, okay, so that's just the blanket that's on the basket. But Noah didn't see that, so he freaked out. Like, another example for that is, like, one time he got a nice new cat tree for Noah. And he hated it. He hated it. It was his least favorite thing. Because what we did is we put it in the room while he wasn't there. <laughs> and that's just, no. No, that you can't do that. Like, he hated it. That was an absolute nightmare for him. But then... What I did afterwards, or what we did afterwards, is um, we, uh, when we, next time we got a, got a cat tree, what we did instead is we kept them around. We kept them in the room while we were setting up the cat tree. And then they didn't mind. They didn't have any problem at all. Oh, I kind of wish I had this ready right now. Come on. Come on! Oh my god! Thank you very much, dude. Appreciate it. Thank you, Oshaw Croft. <laughs> Thanks for 37 months. Alright, but yeah, like, we, 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 we showed him that there was going to be a new thing, and then it's not the problem. And that's, like, generally what I found works really well with cats, is if you want to introduce them to something new, just kind of, like, let show them that the new thing will be there right introduce it to them gradually but if you just kind of put a new piece of furniture in your apartment and they didn't see it coming in then they'll just freak out and like what the fuck is this doing here <laughs> that may sound a bit silly and i mean honestly it is but it's just kind of like a little little thing about them cats don't do so well with change they don't like change very much All right, then. 
So. So Bami, our kitten wasn't old enough to immigrate with us from Istanbul to Berlin. Right now everything is ready. We're looking for someone to bring her to us. Give us... Could you give me a shout out? I'm looking for a traveler from Istanbul to Germany. Oh, that feels like a very specific thing. I honestly... I mean, I wish you good luck with finding someone, but I don't have a lot of faith. Because there's not that much traveling happening right now in the first place. And secondly, that's like a very particular circumstance, isn't it? Okay, let me get this. Yeah. Cooldowns are high, which is not so good. Um, probably just want to get the Shiva's guard right now. <clears throat> Monkey D. Luffy. Mosen, how does somebody go about contacting you if they happen to be in that situation you're looking for? Right? Because right now you have described your issue, but it doesn't help anybody if you describe your issue and you don't tell anybody. Right? Like, what if somebody can help you? What what would they do right now? Right? They wouldn't know what to do. There was nothing that they can really do. I should probably actually max out Torrent here. There you go. So email that. Hmm. This guy, right? Kind of miss, uh, miss, miss the old battle hunger agonies. You know, maybe the AOE and all of that. It's kind of a fun effect. I should probably get a battle fury, right? I mean, I think having a Shiva is still nice because it's just such a fantastic defense against pretty much anything. But probably need probably need a Battle Fury just so we have uh, some bonus power there. Careful, careful gambles. There's not splintering. It looked like it looked like it wasn't splintering for a moment. I mean, that would be bad. <laughs> what is this? How does this always happen? It's unbelievable, dude. And rage marksmanship and fury swipes. Feels like every other game somebody gets it. No, it is splintering. Very good. Yeah, the Battle Hunger isn't going to be that strong until we actually get level 25. Because the 100 Battle Hunger DPS, I mean, it's just a massive upgrade over what you usually have, right? Hey, I should have bet a bit more. <laughs> okay. Now that's scary. I think I do need a Ghost Scepter here. Against the Omni Slash, I don't really have any other defense, right? Yeah, I think we need we need a Ghost Scepter. That always feels kind of bad because you, you don't really want to get a Ghost Scepter unless you have to. Okay. Uh, wow. I guess I've been. <laughs> That's kind of a surprise, I have to admit. I really thought I was going to lose that one. I don't know. 
know. I, I think it goes here. I'm gonna stick to my low gambles. Careful, careful gambles. I can probably just slam this thing every fight, right? It's not like it's got a particularly long cooldown. Alright, he's all Battle Fury. I'm not really feeling like maxing out marksmanship because what's what's really the point, you know? I guess the proc damage? Is that really a big deal? It doesn't really strike me as a very big, very big deal. Labrec versus Sunrise. Um, Sunrise just has way more money. And way more money uh, makes way bigger difference, you know? Alright, very good. So if our cleave we now we're now pretty good. Also I got that wrong. <laughs> they move removed the projectiles because it cost lag. And the hits are there though, check patch notes, and I mean the proc damage works for mainly. Oh okay. So yeah, there's really no point to leveling it up. It's just kind of like insane. Shows you how good this ability is. Okay. But it's even good if you don't uh, don't get, you know, 90% of the effects here. You're only using it for the splinter. But splinter is just very, very powerful. Magic resistance reduction, spell life steal, or Nothing. Hmm. This is probably best for us. Right? Do we get rid of Torrent? I think we... How high is our chance of finding something better than Torrent? I think it's actually really high, right? Because... Well, frankly speaking, Torrent is just not very good. And we can get a variety of right-click tools... ...that will work well for us. Wait, this doesn't have a cooldown, right? Counter-Helix attacks don't have a cooldown. That's kind of wild, isn't it? Alright, doesn't really matter. Alright. Go, 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 go! Yes! Yes! But Counter Helix doesn't have a cooldown when triggered by attacks, and Marksmanship triggers Counter Helix. That's actually pretty clever, isn't it? <laughs> I actually really like that. I hope it works. I hope it's actually good. I wonder. Oh my god, we're spinning a lot of Counter Helix. Ha! Huh. Well, that sure strikes me as good. Okay, against you. We don't really want... Wait, I get rid of that. I think we get a blood fawn, right? We don't really need this. Man, God, one more level. This, this would deal so much more damage, right? The difference is massive between 40 DPS and 140. Oh my god, that hurts. Get it! Oh! Yes! Cool. <laughs> 
This is working surprisingly well. <laughs> I have to say, I'm actually really impressed by this. Nice. Okay. Witch Doctor. No, my money! Ugh, you won that earlier and it was way harder then. Okay. So only the... Only the... What's it called? The Warlock hasn't lost an edge as yet. Oh my god, I'm fighting again! I really don't want to fight that much. Hmm. This one is so hard too. This one is such a difficult fight. No! God damn it! That was so close! Ah! I think that's it. I think it's over. <laughs> I don't really see how we can make it past these. Hmm. Oh no, we are really strong, never mind. But now cooldowns are starting to really hurt us. Die! Yes! Alright, top four. Easy. <laughs> okay. Oh, thank god. I don't want to fight. Oh, I don't really want to fight the creeps either. <laughs> I don't want to do anything. <laughs> All right, why, why do I have to do anything? Can I just like... You know... My proposal is that I do nothing. <laughs> Everybody okay with that? <laughs> All right, good. Do it! Don't you have wind run? I know that was a big gamble, right? That was that was a risky gamble. I was just kind of like hoping to get lucky and make a lot of money. Look, you gotta take some chances here. There's not that many players left in the pool. You just kind of gotta like go for something. All right. So I think I actually eat this, right? And I get, I get a sky staff. Because right now I don't really have. Don't really have like a great way of doing anything against this guy. Oh no. Okay, we're still alive. We're still alive. Yes! Titan Sliver with, with less Shako? I think the Shako is actually fine. I'll take 2,000 health, right? Hey, Nies! Thank you so much, dude. Thanks for the Twitch Prime. Appreciate it. Okay, let me get these. No big deal. Um, we eat this. I 
think I sell this, right? I sell this book. I think the chance of me actually getting something that will make me more powerful out of it is very low. How much did I make from that? 2,000 gold, that's kind of nuts. Six stability. I think six stability is almost never good in this mode, actually. Like, that may sound kind of wild, because I know that usually six stability is kind of the go-to. But in this particular mode, I think six stability tends to just cost a lot of money, and there's such a high chance of just getting nothing. Right, there's like a really substantial chance that you just get not a thing. And and when that happens, dude, six stability is a problem then. You know, you can't really afford that. Whew. All right, then. Bring it. Oh, no. No! No! Yules! Who does that, you monster? <laughs> you monster. Alright, we can survive this. Maybe. Maybe we can. No guarantee. <laughs> No, what? What was that? Oh. Oh, man. Fourth. Although I think I'm not the only one dying, yeah. Blood Rage ran out. Well, Blood Rage was out for a while, though. The, the guy just did a lot more damage all of a sudden. But yeah, cooldown reduction is always the problem, honestly. You also would have permanent blood rage. Earth Spirit versus the Warlock. Oh, BKB refresher? What the hell? <laughs> no golems first? I guess they were probably on. Oh, that big multicast, though. No way, it doesn't matter! <gasps> Oh, that's some sick shit, dude. Earth Spirit just straight up slapping his way through that. No respect. No respect. Yeah, Enrage is dumb, I agree. Enrage is a bit silly. Okay. Nice. Damn. That wasn't even a problem. I suspect this guy is fine, though. Yeah. It's just permanent. Oh my god, you got cleave too? Permanent rage, marksmanship, fury swipes. I mean, you don't. I guess, I guess great cleave can kind of replace. Having uh, a battle fury, which is not too bad. Oh no, careful! I think that was a bit too early on that. A bit too early on that that mystic flare here. All right, the golems will take care of things, but now they're on cooldown. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh man. So I assume we're going into another fight. Yeah, the problem is that the Warlock can't even win if if the multicaster of the Golems helps. Well, how do you win this as Warlock? You need to catch the guy without Enrage. So I think you like, yeah, you apply a few of those, drop that, immediately drop the damage. No. Okay. Slow is now. Smart. Okay. Okay. Uh, BKB. 
All right, you are probably already dead. Wait a second, but be, but enrage is coming off cooldown. You need to. You can't wait that long. You need to do a thing. Enrage is coming off cooldown. <gasps> oh, blade mail. That was smart. Axe and Rage, so can use Enrage when I wake up for Zans. Yeah, but you can sometimes catch people off guard by like, you know, you drop a big ultimate and then like, oh my god, and then you like drop a second one that they would expect later at the same time. Right? Like, I think you have to, like, yes, in theory, there's really nothing that the Warlock can do there. But the thing is that the theory of things isn't always exactly how things work out. Who's behind you is a Coco? Uh, you mean down there? That's Noah. Noah likes the basket, so he goes into the basket. Noah is the big white cat. Coco is the small brown one. Right, but I think something that's really important to keep in mind is that sometimes you can do well in these fights not necessarily by virtue of having like something that is mechanically right for the situation but just because you kind of played the player and there we go wait who won no 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 wait did the warlock actually win wait i thought i thought the earth spirit killed no, okay. What? I guess I must have missed that. I, wow, nice. Warlock actually won. Sick. Cool. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating on the video. I definitely appreciate that. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, uh, unless you want to come hang out on my stream. Like, I'm going to be streaming later today while I'm doing a bunch of Chroma stuff. Um, it's not that interesting because it's literally like an in-engine, Unreal Engine micro-fixing stream. Going to be doing text fixes today. Uh, but if that somehow interests you. Anyway, I'll see you there.